Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the daybreak of salvation for all the world. Today, let us turn to our Blessed Mother, for she brings us the light, who is Jesus. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the, the highest. highest. And, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, you we, we give you thanks for your great glory, glory. Lord God, Lord heavenly, God heavenly, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Lord God, Lord God, Lamb of God, 
Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Impart to your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that the Feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was the dawning of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. The Lord says, You, Bethlehem Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore, the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord in the majestic name of the Lord his God. And they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With delight, I rejoice in the Lord. With delight, I rejoice in the Lord. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. With delight, I rejoice in the Lord. Let me sing of the Lord. He has been good to me. With delight, I rejoice in the Lord. Give joy to my heart, your teaching is tied to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, 
because He will save His people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the titles given to the Blessed Virgin Mary is that she is the daybreak of salvation for all the world. And later on in the prayer after communion, just before the final blessing, you will hear that in the prayer, Mary, as the daybreak of salvation. Si Maria, ang bukang liwayway ng kaligtasan. Now, what does this title given to the Blessed Virgin Mary mean? My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today both talk about the birth of the Savior. Don't you find that odd? Today we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and yet both our readings talk about the birth of the Messiah, the birth of Jesus. And Mary was mentioned only in passing. In our first reading today, we heard the prophecy of the coming of a ruler of Israel. And he will shepherd the people with the strength of God. And if we continue on reading the prophet Micah, he will, he will call this Messiah, this Savior, as the Son of Justice, ang araw ng katarungan. And in our Gospel, we hear the story of the birth of Jesus. He will be given the name Jesus because He will save the people from their sins. This is the fulfillment of the prophecy in our first reading. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the Emmanuel. Jesus is the light that will conquer the darkness of sin. My dear brothers and sisters, it is in this context that we understand why Mary is the daybreak of salvation. Daybreak is that moment when we see the light of the sun on the horizon. Daybreak is that moment when light starts to conquer darkness. Yan ang pagbubukang liwayway. Nag-aagaw ang liwanag at ang dilim. At unti-unting namamayani ang liwanag na papawi ang dilim. If Jesus is the light, then Mary is the daybreak. If Jesus is the Savior, then Mary is the dawn that brings salvation. The birth of Mary is the daybreak. With the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we see the light 
conquering the darkness. With the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we see salvation at hand. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the second time that we celebrate the birthday of Mama Mary during this time of pandemic. A time when the whole world seems to be in darkness. And it seems that we could not yet see the light. Malayo pa yata ang liwanag. Malayo pa ang umaga. It is already dark, but it is even made darker by political issues beleaguering us. It is already dark, but it is even made darker by incompetent, indecisive, and corrupt leaders. It is already dark, and there are many factors that make our world even darker. Let us turn to Mary, because Mary, the daybreak of salvation, will bring the light of healing, of restoration, and of salvation to us. If there exists any darkness in your heart and in your life, turn to Mary because she will bring you Jesus, the light. Just as God gave Jesus to the world through Mary, God also will bring Jesus to us, to our life, through Mary. But not just through Mary. Mary also invites us to be like her, to be the daybreak of the light who is Jesus. God will also bring the light of Jesus to others through us. Tayo rin, maging katulad ni Maria, pukang liwayway, nagdadala ng liwanag ni Jesus sa mundo at sa ating kapwa-tao. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the 20th anniversary of the ordination as a bishop of our dear Archbishop of Manila, Cardinal Jose Advincula. And so we offer this Mass specially for him as he shepherds us here in the Archdiocese of Manila. And today also, as we celebrate the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, I also celebrate my birth to the priesthood. Because 17 years ago, on this day, and in this very cathedral, I was ordained by Cardinal Gaudencio Rosales as a priest. And so today, I thank God for this very special gift of the priesthood that he has entrusted to me. To be a priest is also to be a daybreak. To be a priest is to pave the way for Jesus the light. We are not the light and we should never pretend to be the light. We are simply the daybreak that will bring forth the light who is Jesus. And that is our joy. That is our fulfillment as priests. Ang aming kagalakan ay hindi yung bumuo ng fans club para sa aming sarili. Ang aming kagalakan ay hindi yung maraming humahanga sa amin. Ang aming kagalakan ay kapag nadala namin ang liwanag ni Jesus sa inyo. 
kapag nasasabi ninyong lumiwanag ang aking buhay dahil tinanggap ko si Jesus, yun ang kagalakan naming mga pari. And once we have brought the light, like the dawn, like the daybreak, we should fade into insignificance. Kapag dumating na ang liwanag, nakakalimutan na ang bukang liwayway. That is what we should be as priests. And please pray that we may be truly the daybreak of the light who is Jesus. That we may always bring the light of Jesus to you. Not our own lights, but the light of Jesus. Palagi pong sinasabi ni Cardinal Tagle, liwanag ni Jesus ang dadalhin ng pari, hindi ang kanyang sariling liwanag. Dahil kapag ang liwanag namin ang aming dinala, baka lalo kayong mapunta sa kadiliman. Liwanag lamang ni Jesus. At kapag tinanggap na ang liwanag ni Jesus, nawawala na ang bukang liwayway. My dear brothers and sisters, like Mary, we are all called, each one of us is called to be the daybreak of the light who is Jesus. Sana bawat isa sa atin, bukang liwayway ng liwanag, bukang liwayway ng kaligtasan. Just imagine if each one of us is a daybreak that paved the way for the coming of Jesus the light. It will surely be a beautiful, a bright, and a shining world. In the birth of Our Lady, we see the Father's plan for the world's redemption entering its final stage. With her at our side, let us pray to God who created her full of grace. For every petition, let us say, through the intercession of Mary, bless us, O Father. Through the intercession of Mary, bless us, O Father that the Church may fearlessly proclaim the Gospel committed to her by Mary's Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the intercession, intercession of Mary, Mary bless, bless us, us, O Father, Father, that those without faith may return to the Lord, who was born to save His people from their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the intercession, intercession of Mary, bless us, us O Father, Father that we may give our mothers due love and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the intercession of Mary, bless us, O Father, that Mary's prayers may draw back those who have abandoned the practice of their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the intercession of Mary, bless us, O Father, that we may welcome Jesus in the Eucharist as God with us, let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the intercession of Mary, bless us, O Father. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We also pray for the people who requested our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, in this Eucharist, your family rejoices with the Blessed Mary and Joachim and Anne, her parents. Grant what we ask for in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid. And may He, who at His birth from the Blessed Virgin, did not diminish, but consecrated her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds and make our oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the Nativity of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs, in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your church exalt, O Lord, for you have renewed her with these sacred mysteries as she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank you for joining this Mass on the Feast of the Birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Thank you also for all your prayers and for all your greetings. Please also pray for the other priests who were also ordained on this day, also celebrating their anniversaries today. And we also pray for Cardinal Advincula on his anniversary as a bishop. In a special way, I wish to greet the Carmelite missionaries in Vietnam who are joining our Mass today. I wish to greet the five sisters who will be admitted to the postulancy this day. Let us also pray for them. We invite you this evening to our weekly Healing Rosary for the World a very special healing rosary on the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our rosary will be hosted by the Nina Maria Parish in Sariaya, Quezon. And so let us gather this evening as one family and as one community to give honor to Our Lady and to ask Our Lady's intercession for all of us. Today, we also launch the Tagalog version of our mission song, We Give Our Yes. After this Mass, you will be able to see the music video of the Awit ng Mission, the Tagalog version of We Give Our Yes. For those who are joining us through YouTube, 
you may also you will also be able to view the music video by uh, checking by looking at uh, the channel of star music let this be let this renew our fervor let this new song this song renew our fervor as we celebrate the 500 years of christianity in uh, in our country the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, build in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessings now and forever. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life, now and forever. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Blessed are you.